<laughs> Listen, if you and your friends are looking for a laugh, you can get lost. I've already got enough people hanging around here to tease me. Just because I'm sitting here instead of off hunting for treasure, those losers think we're equals. It is. Well, it's more like my father's dream. He's been searching for that tower since even before it reappeared. He's been hoping to see it completed for even longer. I didn't understand why my dad was so excited about the thing. Until I saw it in person. It got me thinking. What the heck is up there that could justify building such a tower? And what kind of power could turn such a massive tower into rubble in an instant? Well, whatever it is, I won't be finding out anytime soon. But the bigger the mystery, the greater its hold on you. The bigger the thrill when everything is finally revealed, right? When that day finally comes, <laughs> we'll have a real blast. I guess you're not like those other guys. I'd much rather talk to someone who's curious than somebody making fun of me. Listen, if you're really that interested in Karot, I can be your guide. Hey, Nineheart, what do you think? What do you mean? I'm talking about Karot Tower. Do you really think there's anything to find there? It's far too early to say. If I were to explore the place, I could make a better assessment. But that won't be possible. I didn't come here prepared for an extended expedition. Well then, there is no cause for concern. Might I have a moment of your time? There is something I must tell you before your departure. It pertains to the tower, Kerot. The tower was constructed between the time when my true body fell asleep and when I awakened in this form. I know very little of that era, with one exception. It was a time when the line between good and evil vanished. I do not know what lies within the tower, but please, exercise caution. As my friend, your well-being is important to me. I fear what awaits you might be more than one with a human heart can handle. I will eagerly await your return, my friends. Good luck.
Defective? How dare you call me defective? <sighs> Spending all their time in that lab must have driven the old geezers crazy. If I could just get out of here, I know I could find a way to fix everything somehow. No! Stay back!
The specter of death had always been near, though it took many forms. Sometimes it was a drug injected into my blood. Other times it was a makeshift instrument cutting away at my flesh. Sometimes it even took the form of a living person. But I thought I could survive it. I was certain I was strong enough. Because I knew I was the one. I was so sure. Perhaps I am a failure. My body, which had been replaced piece by piece after countless experiments, sank below the waves like a stone. Down I went. Further and further. I was sure I'd never again see the sun. And yet even there, at the bottom of the deep, dark sea, there was a light. This is just a hypothesis, but I believe this entire tower is an artifact. A machine or device powered by means of magic. I suspect this tower's creator knew it would be destroyed. So they came up with a mechanism by which those they deemed worthy could quickly ascend to the top. Using that statue. Most likely a memory of whoever or whatever created this tower. But I'm sure you guessed as much. They must have had a very good reason for preserving their memories within an artifact. Although I could hardly guess what purpose or motive would drive someone to do so. We can't assume that. If only Grendel were here, perhaps he'd see something I cannot. I'm afraid my understanding of magic is nothing compared to his. I do know this. You need to be cautious. Those things that attacked you must be the guardians of this place. You said they called you a vessel. Why? There is a reason the statue reacted to you and no one else. 
a reason only you witnessed that memory. It would be naive to think otherwise. Do you see where I'm going with this? Because you were the adversary. Yes. Yes, I had contemplated that. I'll let you know if I think of anything else. The light of the anglerfish was enough for my work. There, at the bottom of the sea, I began to build a tower. Time no longer mattered, and I had all the strength I needed. The old men's experiments had given me that much. I can finally see it. The morning sun that has been shrouded from me for centuries. The moment I emerged from beneath the water, the realization hit me like a tidal wave. I knew it. I'm not defective. I'm not a failure. They were afraid of me. They were afraid because they created an adversary even more powerful than they were. An experiment to create an adversary. I see. I'm not. The clues were there. And this is not the first time we've heard of such an experiment. Don't tell me you've forgotten. You saw the results of that experiment firsthand. In the holy land of Cernium. I read the reports. A being manufactured to deceive a holy relic. Indeed. A laboratory floating in the air, a test subject who fell into the sea, a tower stretching into the sky. It's clear that test subject built this tower to escape from the sea. And judging from the height of this tower, he didn't stop there. I have my suspicions, but I'll hold off on speculation until I know more. How are you two just chatting about this so calmly? You're acting like an experiment to create an adversary is totally normal. And it wasn't just one experiment. They built a laboratory, and they did it over and over until they got it right. Who were these people? And what was their motivation?
Could he have been referring to this experiment, to its purpose? I can't say, but it seems there's more to all of this than we suspected. An experiment like this would surely have left a trail of evidence. Nikki, when we first arrived, you looked at the tower and deduced it was nearing completion. And you also told us about your father. You said that he'd been awaiting the tower's completion for quite some time. Why is that? Beats me. Sorry, but my dad isn't really the sharing type. Probably because he doesn't even trust his own children. I mean, I get it. My pops is a genius. You know how people treat geniuses. They laugh at them or ignore them, all because they're not smart enough to see how the dots are connected. They used to call him a weirdo. <laughs> I bet my dad had a rough time too, but at least he was a genius. Me? I'm just an ordinary seeker. A son who didn't live up to his father's expectations. I honestly don't care about the legend behind the tower. What I want is simple. I want to see the tower completed. And I want to see what destroyed it with my own two eyes. Nikki, you know you can talk to us about how you're feeling. I'll understand. Yeah, that's right. Me and Arena have a lot of experience helping kids work through their feelings. Are you calling me a kid? No. I don't have time to be upset. Don't you see? We're almost at the top of the tower. And right before the tower is completed is when it gets attacked. We can't sit around here any longer. You're right. We'd better prepare for the attack. Shall we move on to the next floor? Are you ready? The door. I was so convinced all I had to do was make it back there. The door to the laboratory would only open for the vessel of an adversary. I knew I could pass through it. There wasn't a doubt in my mind. Because even if I wasn't complete yet, I was the vessel of the adversary. Or so I believed. All I have to do is make it to the laboratory. From there, I'll be able to figure everything else out. As long as I can make it through the door, I'll become a true adversary. I'm so close now. I just need to build a little higher. I just have to hold out a little longer. I thought I saw it peeking out from below the clouds. Beneath that cliff from which I was thrown so long ago. I had finally made it, but that was the moment. The attack came from the sky. The tower I had spent so many years building turned to ash in an instant. That tremendous power came down upon my head.
The door will not open to those who are unworthy. Ever. <sighs> Laying there at the bottom of my broken tower, I had an epiphany. I didn't have to open the door myself. I just had to find someone else who could. I needed another vessel, a new adversary. Yes, one like you.
Interesting. I was curious who had restored this blasphemous tower. Machines? I see. Despite encountering the Guardians, you survived. You are a true adversary. I do not attack those who are worthy. Those who built me built the Guardians to identify a true vessel. But it's strange. The Guardians cannot function beyond the bounds of their domain. You shouldn't have encountered them at all. Not in this profane tower. The place I am tasked with protecting. The laboratory of my creators, who have since turned their gaze from it. They were afraid. Afraid that one not committed to the cause would steal the vessels. That's why the Guardians were only permitted to function within the laboratory. If they left, they should have grown still. Little more than ordinary statues. But too many years have passed, and countless guardians have gone missing. Perhaps someone intentionally lured them away. Such a person might have had the means to reprogram them to attack you. Yes, but none of this changes my duty. A worthy vessel is here. I must open the door. You may pass. You, and you alone. The others must remain, and especially you, the first to arrive. Your body is constructed from the technology of this place. For a moment, I was fooled. But after seeing you alongside a true vessel, you are a well-made fraud, but a fraud nonetheless. Nevertheless, I am not permitted to attack if it would risk the safety of a worthy vessel. Leave now. I thought having a vessel of the adversary here would be enough. How cruel of him. To let you through, but refuse me. My father would be so disappointed. He went to all the trouble of rebuilding my body with technology from that laboratory, and still I was denied. Nikki, I demand an explanation. What does it mean when it says you are a fraud? And who is this father you keep talking about? You seem like a smart guy. Do you really not get it? Do you need me to spell it out for you? <laughs> there it is. The look of a man who realizes he's been utterly duped. That's right. It was my father who built this tower. He was one of those vessels of the adversary our buddy Kalos decided was unworthy. He was just like your champion of the Alliance there. Only he was never good enough. Wait, you knew they were the adversary this whole time? Of course! How could I not after what happened last time? Oh yeah, we're old friends. Don't you remember? You blew up my greatest invention. I have to say, that sucked harder than a black hole. Do you know what a black hole generator would have sold for? I should have sent you the bill. You'd never forget a price tag like that. You really don't remember me. I'm disappointed. Or maybe you just don't recognize me without this on.
Long time no see. The name T-Boy is known to the Alliance. I recall the reports. He's a member of the Angler family. I heard he caused quite a bit of trouble in a city that was transported to the Arcane River from another world. Reversing gravity, confining the city's denizens to a squalid subway tunnel. Then there was that black hole he tried to create. Yes, he's been quite the nuisance. Our most recent dealings with the Angler Company were at Hotel Arcus. Isn't that right, Irina? Yes. Senya Angler tried to buy the hotel with her company's money. And there was that whole mess with the giant robots. Thankfully, her plans were foiled. Nothing could be more pointless than a defense system you can't control. She gave up surprisingly easily. Maybe the hotel wasn't all she was after. Hey! I'm standing here in the middle of my big reveal, and you're talking about my sister? Way to make a guy feel like crap. Well, you won't be for long. Not once I get what I was promised. That's right. One of the most powerful weapons this world has ever seen is standing right here. And my father said it's mine for the taking. Hey, Ugly! You said my body was built with technology from that lab, right? <laughs> you were right about that. But if your eyes are so sharp, how can you be blind to everything else? Did you ever stop for a second to wonder why I was built with tech from Odium? What the heck is he doing? Stay back. It's not safe. This is the life code. The power of the creators. How could it be here? My body was rebuilt from machines not too different from you. Almost indistinguishable from something built by the old geezers themselves. Their power flows through me. Which makes me basically a god, as far as you're concerned. There's no point in resisting me. For the champion of the Alliance, there sure is a lot you don't know. <laughs> anyway, does it really matter? Because only one of us is leaving here alive. Aren't you curious who will win? Come on! It'll be the ultimate thrill! Unless... you're afraid. You and your friends got something wrong in Reverse City. What was it Bar said? You coward! You don't even have the guts to face danger in person! And then you, the master of originality, piled on! It's easy to play the daredevil from the comfort of your secret lair. Well, I'm standing right here. And I'm not going anywhere. You know, we've never really gone head to head before. Why don't we find out just how much machine you can handle? I should warn you, those walking scrap heaps you fought so far are nothing compared to us.
Why is it only when my body is broken that I can finally see? I guess I'm the one I should have been disappointed in. <sighs> of course. Right on cue. I'm here, Father. Adopted or not, I'm still your son. And as I plummet slowly to my death, that's the first thing you ask. <laughs> Only joking. You know I've got a twisted sense of humor. Of course you, of all people, would want to know. The thing you've waited so very long for has finally happened. Yes, the door to the lab is open. Since those old geezers are off in the realm of the sages or whatever, they probably don't have a clue. And the former adversary, champion of the Alliance, isn't looking so hot. So they shouldn't be much trouble. At least for a while. Is that so? As for harnessing Kalos' power, I really screwed that one up. Are you... disappointed in me, father? That's what I thought. You knew, didn't you, Father? That things would go this way. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no point in lying to me now. I'm going to die here anyway, and... 
Can't you be honest with me just this once? Kalos' power. Once I had it in my hands, there's no way I could have ever given it up. I felt like a god! You said you weren't disappointed. Because everything went the way you expected. You knew, didn't you, father? You knew if I merged with the Guardian, I wouldn't be able to stop myself. Yes, of course you knew. You programmed me that way in the first place, didn't you? My greed, my impulsiveness, all of it. You were hoping I'd neutralize Kalos and slay the vessel of the adversary. Don't you think you bit off more than you could chew? You didn't even lift a finger. <laughs> <laughs> it took virtually dying to realize it. I always thought I behaved this way because it was just who I was. The ultimate thrill. I was stupid. I never thought for a moment that I would die. When did you make me this way? Was it when you repaired my broken body after the Arcane River? Or was it even before that? I was just a tool to you from the very beginning, wasn't I? Ugh. The only thing I ever wanted was to make you proud of me! Or... Was that just another lie you put in my head? Say something, father. Tell me I'm wrong! Tell me I'm talking nonsense! Please... You know whatever you say, I'll have no choice but to believe you. Nikki, I'm proud of you. Are you seriously worrying about other people when you can't even help yourself? How touching. Lar isn't here to help you this time. What are you gonna do? Huh. Or maybe I'm wrong. It looks like you're gonna live for a long, long time after all. I never expected to see that jerk again. Here, least of all. I guess the champion of the Alliance really is that special. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something you won't believe, because why not? You know Jaren Darmor, God King of the High Flora? I met him once. He came to us when the company first fell apart, and he talked about you. He was planning to break your precious seal stone right from the beginning, even before you reached the end of the Arcane River. If you're curious, you should go there too. To Odium. That damned place. Let's see. The angle and direction look good. Now's as good a time as any to push off, right? There are worse fates than dying alongside the champion of the Alliance, but I think I'll pass for now. Oh, and if you do meet my father, look after him, will you? And say hi to Kosim for me. No chance of them keeping their nose out of what's to come. Is what I'm feeling now real or a lie? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter anymore. In the end, it wasn't all fake, father. And besides, it really was a thrill.